At first, you might think it's a cold, and it could be, but COVID-19 could escalate. Here's what you need to know. According to the World Health Organization China Joint Mission on COVID-19, as of February 20th, 80% of laboratory confirmed cases were mild to moderate, 14% were severe, and 6% were critical. Just to be clear, a mild case of COVID-19 is not like a mild cold. The symptoms will still be pretty severe. Anything less than needing oxygen puts you in this category. Severe cases do need supplemental oxygen, and critical ones are defined by respiratory or multi-organ failure. The symptoms, treatments, and timelines of having the disease vary, depending on which category patients fall into. So let's break down what having COVID-19 looks like day to day for each level of severity. It can take as few as two or as many as 14 days after being exposed to the novel coronavirus for the first symptom to develop. This is when it might feel like a cold or the common flu. Many patients develop fevers early on. The World Health Organization China Joint Mission saw that about 88% of people who had COVID-19 had a fever. Another study out of China showed that while only 44% of patients had a fever on admission to a hospital, 89% eventually developed one. But there have been some cases that led with gastrointestinal symptoms. Diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, and or abdominal discomfort may appear a couple of days before respiratory symptoms. This isn't the norm, though, because COVID-19 is a respiratory disease. That means for most patients, the virus will start and end with the lungs. In the early days of infection, the virus invades lung cells. Specifically, this can damage the cilia, the hair-like projections that move around to keep airways clear of mucus and debris. When cells get infected, they die and shed off, adding to the debris and hindering your body's ability to keep stuff out of the lungs and trachea. The inflammation causes damage and damage causes more inflammation, and this cycle could continue until there's no healthy tissue left. And inflammation might explain why a dry cough is one of the most common symptoms. Same goes for shortness of breath and phlegm production. Other symptoms that can appear around this time are fatigue, sore throat, headache, joint or muscle pain, chills, and a runny nose. By day five, patients with pre-existing conditions might find that they have trouble breathing, and it usually takes about seven days for a person to go to a hospital. Mild cases, though, usually clear up by this time. But those with moderate to critical cases will have developed pneumonia, which can range from non-life-threatening to severe. Recovery time for these patients could be anywhere from a few days to weeks. For some severe and critical cases, though, symptoms can escalate into acute respiratory distress syndrome. ARDS is an illness that happens when fluid builds up in the lungs. Inflammation triggers a flood of immune cells.